I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a uh, 1979 Yamaha C7, which uh, I have serviced uh, many, many, many C7s over the years. They're in people's homes. They're uh, totally standard in recording studios along with the Steinway D. Those are the two, if it's a, my, my experience generally, I mean, there are exceptions all over the place, but generally my experience is if it's classical recording studio, it's a Steinway B. If it's anything else, it's a Yamaha C7. These pianos are also all over conservatories, um, uh, universities and practice rooms, in concert halls. A lot of people use these for, um, for large concert halls, as many as uh, 1,000 or 2,000 people because these pianos can be very, very powerful. And, and artists generally, everybody knows the Yamaha C7. Everybody in the, in the piano industry um, knows what to expect with the Yamaha C7, which is, which is a, a very high standard. Um, and I love them. I've, like I said, I've worked on a kajillion of them and they're, they're just without exception. Like I don't think I've come across a Yamaha C7 that I was disappointed with. Um, they're just they're just consistently awesome. So this particular 1979 has been totally refurbished and it's been refinished. So cosmetically, it's um, it's fairly near perfect. That's the goal when we refinish it is to get it perfect. Um, and we're pretty close. It's absolutely beautiful. So you uh, what you're seeing in this video. Um, is not we're not hiding anything it's just uh what you see is what you get that, that that perfection that you see in the video is that's what it all looks like we have some fingerprints excuse the fingerprints please um, that just means it's family friendly yeah, i guess so and the uh and the pedals and the casters everything all the all the um hinges and that sort of thing polished so they look nice and shiny and brand new and beautiful um, the, uh, the action has been fully refurbished, the in inside here has been cleaned, so it, uh, it's just immaculately beautiful, and it sounds amazing. Um, maybe, maybe before I play it I should mention that the hammers have been reshaped, they've been uh, the, the action has been lubricated, everything's been properly aligned, properly regulated. As a general rule, pianos have, they, they last forever, they last for 50, 60, 80 years. We, we rebuild pianos on a regular basis that are that are 100 years old, sometimes even going back to the 1870s, 1860s. We have one in here right now from the 1840s. They last forever, but that said, of, of excellent service. They have about 20 to 25 years um, before they need to be at least refurbished. And so uh, that's what this one has had. Everything, um, my wife used to think that uh, as far as I went on the refurbishing was, uh, was too much. She I still to, do sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes we go a little bit too far. Um, but uh, um, for the most part, I think my wife agrees that, uh, um, that what we do to these pianos is, is just fine and acceptable, that we're not being too overly indulgent in restoring these old instruments. You can't be too overindulgent on a C7. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the case here. Oh, and and I should mention that along along with that, when a piano has been been fully fully refurbished as it has by someone who's competent, somebody who knows what we're doing, and we definitely do know what we're doing. Um, I've been in this industry for twenty five years, and lots and lots lots of experience. Yeah, going on twenty six years. Birthday. That's right. And uh, yeah, so so it's well done. So so when somebody that knows what they're doing does it properly, uh, the the goal in in I think any um, self-respecting piano restorer is to restore it to function as close to brand new as possible, and that's what we've done here. And if it's properly executed, then it's it well it's impossible to get it to absolutely brand new. Of course, we can get it pretty darn close. Um, in terms of touch, in terms of tone, in terms of longevity, and in, in uh, many aspects, even in terms of appearance. And this one, um, other than our finger smudges, uh, looks absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll... Are those your finger smudges, Liz? Put this down. 
Just so that you can see. No. Do you like to touch the pianos? The, the lid? The instrument. In all its glory. That is glorious satin. Looks like we've got some little strings here. That's beautiful. I think, I mean, the, the shiny black pianos, I think look great, like, like this one. Um, I think that looks beautiful. Everybody's familiar with the with the super high polish, but uh, you know, in my in my opinion, the the satin I think is it, it's just classy. It, it, it just looks amazing. So, um, oh, one final thing, and then I'll play it. Is is that to finish finish my thought from a minute ago? That when a piano is properly refurbished, and uh, that that it should have another 20 to 25 years of excellent use. So the difference between say this piano and a brand new one is this piano is like a third the cost of a brand new one, but in, in like every instance, it, or in, it, it's, it's very, very close to brand new. Like I said, cosmetically touch, tone, how it will endure. And then it's, uh, um, yeah. So, but, but it differs from a brand new one, like I said, in that it's uh, a third the cost or, or less even. And how, it's, how it differs from say another C7 that you might find just like, you know, in somebody's living room that, uh, um, that, might be, that might be up front anyway, a little bit less money than this one is, uh, is that uh, somebody's somebody's piano i mean they might they might say hey we've taken perfect care of this we bought this piano in 1982 and we've had it tuned every year um, and they might you know really believe that this piano is in perfect condition but piano owners aren't piano technicians they don't know and usually piano technicians don't usually they just kind of want to tune the piano and get out of there and they don't and, and it's such a slow process the, the deterioration of the piano that it's fairly uncommon in my experience in this industry that a piano technician is going to say you know, this year's the year. I've been I've been servicing this piano for so long, and this year's the year. You got to totally refurbish it. I um, mean, we got to reshape hammers, and we've got to refinish it, and we've got to clean it, and we've got to do all of these things. Um, so generally, pianos that you find in a living room, they're going to need all of this stuff, and and the cost of that. And this is this is kind of uh, kind of taps into my belief in in, um, in in my belief system, I guess, and that's value. I believe in value. I'm, I do that in my cars and my tools and my clothes. I'm definitely a believer in value. Um, that uh, that the reason that I that I feel like we have such a competitive edge with with these pianos that we that we restore here is because if you were to take one of those pianos in somebody's living room and then do everything that we've done to this to to that piano, the cost would end up being a lot more than what we have here. So. Hence the, the value that I'm a believer in. Okay, enough of that. Ooh, that is nice.
soft and soothing and get a little, get a little excited when it doesn't sound like you're, you're swinging in a Brazilian hammock. Louis was getting um, a little excited yeah. too. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's a, that's a great piano. That is a really, really nice piano. Um, I always try to have a C7 in because they're so popular and I generally can't hang on to them. Um, not too long ago, I had, uh, I had four of them. That was a record and this is my uh, currently, la currently my last one, so I am looking for more C7s because they're awesome. So, um, if you're watching this and this is at all interesting, I would definitely um, jump on this. I think this is this is a, a world class instrument. And if you're watching this out of state, um, we sell we sell lots of pianos. It's actually surprisingly simple um, to ship a piano out of state. Um, we, we take care of all of those logistics. We sell lots of pianos out of state. We ship them all over the place and, uh, and we don't have, we don't have, uh, concerns with that. Um, and very rarely do we have, do we have issues with, um, with things going wrong? Like you would think shipping a giant instrument like this a thousand miles or whatever. So, um, and when there are, when there are issues, they're, they're generally easy to, to just take care of. Um, a sticking key or whatever. Just like that. Very good. <laughs> so, um, come check it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>